iPhone 12 production is at full tilt, 24 hour operation, mandatory overtime, no holidays. Wow. Imagine that. You see that, that order coming no down. Holidays. Yeah. People need their iPhones this holiday season. You're not leaving. Foxconn. Hmm. So we have a report here. Apparently, according to the South China Morning Post, that's Vin's favorite newspaper, uh, you can earn 5,000 to 6,000 won per month, which is US $880. If you work at the factory more than 90 days, there's a handsome amount of special pay. Hmm. So this is what you're getting paid. Uh, right now, it's mandatory overtime. All right, you're not leaving. They've got incentives for hiring new people. And you're not taking that holiday. Apparently, there's an eight-day national holiday that normally begins on October uh, October 1st. Hmm. You're not having it. No. Too many iPhones. Yeah. Did you expect that the uh, that a person working at the iPhone assembly plant, did you expect they were making 880 per month? Uh, No. I was expecting less. But, I mean... It seems okay. A thousand? <laughs> I mean, what are you doing there, you know? You can't buy that iPhone one month to pay, man. I guess, yeah. But, I mean... You don't need that iPhone? I don't think so, no. I mean, if you're working, you know, a month, uh, yeah. Just checking circuit boards and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You're happy with it. Okay. Well, I just had to pr I had to press you there, Will. I mean, yeah. I'm how to get to the bottom of it. Here. I had to get to the bottom of it. Oh. Of course, that particular employee, 33 years old, and they worked at the factory for over four years. I don't I don't know. Uh, an entry level or a first year person presumably would not be getting eight, 880 mm -hmm. USD or between five and 6,001. And of course, cost of living, expenses, it's all different, right? Well, don't they live at like a residence? That's, in, that's important to know it as well. Yeah. It's a whole Foxconn village. Mm -hmm. Anyway, normally they would get a national break, the Mid-Autumn Festival, which is an eight-day break from October 1st to 8th. But Foxconn workers are being asked not to take this time. One worker said some are happy to comply with the stringent iPhone 12 production demands because the law ent entitles them to triple pay for the first three days of the national holiday. So it's kind of like an overtime situation. Mm. But... Uh, it's not an optional overtime situation, but if you have to do the overtime, you can pay a little bit more. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, when it comes to that 880 per month, I don't know if that applies to everybody in there. I, I to be clear, that's just one particular mm -hmm. person, and maybe they got a lot of overtime in there and mm -hmm. whatever else. But either way, it, it makes a lot of sense. They're running at max capacity. I don't even know. They're late to the party, right? Apple would normally be further along. The announcement is delayed. Everything's going to have to happen fast here. Mm -hmm. And they're coming from behind because of pandemic stuff. And so now it's like, is we got, we, we've already got word and speculation on next-gen console shortage. Yeah. Is it going to be any different with iPhone? Are you worried about quality control? That's another question. You start speeding things up, you got okay. people working to, around the clock 24 hours. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, we got to wait and see, but yeah. people want their iPhones this holiday season. I'll mm -hmm. tell you what.